Hi everybody, I'm Corey. I'm the Dungeon Master for Opportunity Roll. I'm here with Group 1. Say hi, everybody. Hello. Hi. Last episode, um, bodies lining the halls. Uh, blood everywhere. And at the far end of the hall, kind of braced against the main door, uh, is a rather large creature. Uh, it has a mass of several heads. So Maggie, your father is on the other side of the room, hiding behind a pillar, much like Everett and Edmund. All right, guys. So we have Maggie with a 23, natural 20, a 21 for Everett. Uh, we have a uh, 20 with Charity. Then we have the monster, Aeson, and then the monster. Uh, at this current moment... Um... So what do I want to do? Usually I'm not first, so usually I think about things. Fuck. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm mm -hmm. going to try this. Blindness, deafness. If it fails, the creature within range makes a constitution saving throw. If it fails. Okay. <laughs> Let me guess it's immune. It just has no. Well, well we got, I mean, it has I... advantage. That's what I was thinking, too. <gasps> Hitch. Aww. It has a 21, because it has advantage. Because it has multiple heads. Pidge, you were supposed to help. Now you're squirming. Goodbye. I mean, he did help. He got a nat 1 on the first That's thing. True. You did, but you did. It has only okay, so Pidgey, much. I understand. Oh my god, you guys are dealing well with seven heads. Yeah. Okay, um, well... That's Ooh. my action. I did my bonus action, and I'm staying put, and I'm not moving, so that's it. Are you Mantle of Inspiration? Yeah. Right, right on. I was about yes. to say, so can Charity and Everett. They both can move. Are you moving, Charity? Uh, Everett will... Uh, no. Okay, cool. Sorry. Oh. She might get... A little cl and hmm, hang on. How far away is it? Seventy-five feet. Yeah, so you might move directly behind Ace. All right. <clears throat> so, uh. 21 will see. Sorry, what? I feel like I've been. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Uh, no, did Charity get to move? Yes. Yes. Okay, so rolling back, that makes it. Everett's. Everett's turn. So sorry, he's going I to. to... I think he's going to stay where he's at. He's going to use his turn to use his transformation. So you'll hear, um, I, you'll you'll see the shifting, the writhing, the the kind of that that little. Oh shoot! Probably a good idea, right, uh, now, brother? And that will end his turn. Charity, your turn. Okay. Fuck it up, Fuck it up Charity. Fuck it up. Charity is not. Charity is playing support right now. Well then, put the spearhead on Aeson and go. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Spirit Guardians, what por favor. Is... Oh. Really? What? Nothing. Alright. So we're gonna do a beacon of hope. Ooh. What's that? Okay. Yes, yeah, centered on Aeson there, because that'll hit everyone in here for now, even when they move. So, within okay. 30 feet for a minute, uh, the spell bestows hope and vitality. Choose any number of creatures within the range, so everyone. For the duration, each target has advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saving throws and regains the maximum number of hit points possible from any healing. Actually, I think if I move it down a bit, I can also get... Yeah, because he's 30 feet. Yeah, yeah, so... How far away? 
35. Yeah. So 25, 30, and then that's... Okay, so then Edmund as well, because he is only just too far. So, yeah. Okay. I think he should be safe behind that pillar, though. Yeah. We'll, we'll hope. <laughs> we can only hope right now. So, everyone from our party is going to get the maximum number of hit points from healing and uh, advantage on saving throws and death throws. Uh, wisdom saving throws in particular. Now... That would make it the monster's turn. Now, there's going to be a bit of a change to the turn order. The monster is only going to get one turn. But I would like one of you to do me a favor and, and just confirm for me mm. how many heads this thing has. You said seven. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Just like the photo. So, this thing will make seven attacks. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I could have said two. Why didn't I just say one? No, I would cheat you. I am... I'm sorry. No, so okay. the first thing that you're going to notice is that the body of this thing is not going to move. The head's kind of writhing and slithering will kind of extend, kind of unfold, and they will head directly towards Aesop. Um, all, all seven of them. So let's do seven bites, shall we? It has a reach to that far? Holy moly. I mean, it is a big... It Well, yes. I mean, it is a big creature. Never mind. Four. Five. Six. Seven. How many of those hit? Oh, my God. oh sorry. I wasn't talking... I didn't have my thing pushed. I said he gets a fub tub, don't he? He rolled a nat one. He does. Oh, he only two tub. hit. Okay. Holy crap. Oh my god. Yeah. Thank What's your AC? 20? Thank the gods. Wow. I'm going to take Wait, a nap here. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to reroll that because it can't really do that. It's not moving. It's heads that are extending. Okay. <gasps> Twice. Come on. One more. Ooh. Where was I again? While the attack lose track of the fight, you end your turn and move to the bottom of the initiative order at the start of your next round. So that means okay. only, would only one and then what would only one hit me because he fobbed before the second one that hit me. No, the the it's it's it, at the end of the next round. Yeah, that's and then what he it, gets yeah. a second or at the one start of the next. No, round. but what I was asking is, it says yeah. you attack wildly and lose track of the fight. I was just wondering if it was because it was on the the natural one was before one of the ones that hit me. It says you. But it's a different head. There's different heads. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they're different. Think of them like sentience okay, in yeah, and of themselves. Hit me. Different. Um, and then you also have to roll in the fub tub again, isn't it? Because you roll twice and apply both effects. Uh, I can. I, I wasn't going to count that, but I guess I can. Super Ultra Mega so you can reroll. Unguaranteed all adjacent allies may immediately take an attack of opportunity. So. No one. Nothing. So that's ultra Wait, mega slice. Unguarded allies of your target. Oh, so you had nobody. Yeah, no. Because I'm the only one there. Yeah. You're the only one close to it. So it is now your how, turn. How much damage do I take? Uh oh, that's right. We have to do damage from those. Ooh. Yeah. You said two hit, right? Okay. Twenty one okay. damage. I'm still sitting pretty. Owie. I know, but Owie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get near that thing. Yeah. At all. <laughs> all right, so let me check something. That's like half uh, my hit points right there in one hit. Well. God, that's a lot of... uh, I think I'm good for now. I'm going to attack him. Yeah. Preferably. Came with Preferably. Sword. Stab, stab, slash. Do whatever you gotta do. Just kill it. 23 will hit. Fuck yeah. So 16 damage. Nice. And I get an extra it. attack because I'm a fighter. Okay. 25. 
deal damage. Uh, another 15 damage. So a total of 31 damage. That's not bad. Okay. And uh, I think I'm okay. I don't think I need a bonus first my bonus action yet to heal myself. If I do, I'm up to full again, though, because of Charity's lovely thing. I'd heal 17 hit points. But I'm only 13 anything else down. You'd like to do? Um, let me see. Is there anything else I can do? So you moving up to it? The 25 feet? I was thing? already... I, I, I just asked... Oh, I thought I, when I was in front of it, I was fine. No, I mean, you gotta be within five feet of the body because the heads are like writhing snakes that oh, will move okay. away I wasn't from sure your like, where I had to be I thought like being there would have been fine just because the token think of it like a mass of Medusa okay. hair so Wait. then I had to check this thing is really cool but why the fuck are we it? <laughs> go ahead um yeah you know what then I'm going to hit it with one of these since I hit it um So he is marked for my, for until his next turn, until my turn. Oh okay. wait, which is it? Until the end of my next turn. So if he attacks somebody else who gets close to him, he's at disadvantage. And oh, perfect. if he hits them while at disadvantage, I get to make a bonus action attack against him on my next turn. Can I just okay. say that I don't like the fact that you <clears throat> said you got disadvantage and you say perfect? <laughs> Well, I'm mean, perfect for us. No, no. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, I don't trust it. Um, right now, no. I think I'm okay. Maggie, your turn. <laughs> Creature has moved to the bottom of the turn order as per the natural one. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, um, um, I'm going to, I don't want to cast any of those because then it's going to affect Asod. Um, <sighs> sorry, I just could think, okay, you know what, I'm going to try this one two i'm gonna try it on one of the heads it doesn't matter which one just as long as it's one of them okay, okay. Um, it won't uh, work it's, need to get it's not a humanoid okay so did you because honestly i it's, it says one humanoid of your choice it's not considered a humanoid in any any form okay uh the mantle of inspiration Okay. It's a bonus action. I can, <clears throat> as um, a bonus action, I can cast command without expending a mm -hmm. spell slot. And um, let me see. Command. Da, 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 da. Sorry. Um, I speak one word command to, uh, to the creature. Um, the target need, must do a succeed, uh, succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Okay. And the spell will have no. Is it undead? No. It's considered it. No? Okay, so it, it doesn't affect creatures undead. that are undead, no. so it has to take a wisdom saving throw. Okay. It's a 12. Um, my spell save DC is 14. And Maggie is going to tell it to grovel, and the target falls prone, and then it ends, and then ends its turn. So the head will drop to the floor. The rest of the body will continue to move with its own accord. Hey, that's well, that's one head out. Hey, that's better than nothing. I'll take it. How long does that last? Yes. Oh, I just exited out of it. Shit. It says Sorry. one minute until your concentration ends. You can cast it. And then any creature charmed by you automatically fails at saving throw against the command which you cast. Does it get checks per round or no? Does I don't know. It? I don't know. All I don't. All I don't understand about this is it says any creature charmed by you automatically fails at saving throw against the like. Do you have to 
Hold on, I'm gonna look up command. Because I'm looking at it right now, and it says if you do, um, you might issue a command other than the one described, but that's up to the DM, obviously. But I like grovel. Boom. The target must. Speak one word of command to a creature you can see within range. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or follow the command until it's on its next turn. The spell has no effect if the target is undead. If it doesn't understand your language or if your command is too directly harmful to it. Uh, so typically a command the effects of the following. You may command other one to describe. Approach, drop, flee, grovel, or halt. Um, so... Saving throw or following the command on its next turn. So basically, that command will end on its next turn. Because it's going to follow the command. With that ability, it automatically fails its throws. I mean, it it doesn't say anything about a so a throw besides yeah, wisdom saves. Yeah, in the in the um, in the thing. So basically, anytime she commands it for a minute, they have to do it. <laughs> Falls prone and then ends its turn. So next next one. round, this yeah. thing will have six nice. heads, uh, not seven. Unless it had to fucking bite me. <clears> okay, <throat> hey, I I will take the victories where I can I'll, with this fucking thing. Okay, I'll take, <laughs> I'll take that too. <laughs> no, that's is there anything that's else my, you'd my like bonus to do? Oh, well, no, because that's a bonus action. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Can't you cast two bonus actions in a turn instead of an action? Like, can you can you do that? I don't know. That's up to Corey. Mm, no, I think it's like yeah, DM discretion kind of thing. She, she, she could like. I mean, her. I mean, if it's the only thing you're well, no, doing, there's another sure, thing that I'd I can be okay do. with it. But let me check something real quick. Do, do, do. I can well, move. Let's, I can, um, okay. I'm gonna move, and then I'm, you, I'm gonna you. do something. Don't worry, I got it all planned. Um, so there's okay. that, and then I'm gonna do counter charm, which is an action. Um, what is counter charm? As an action, you can start a performance that lasts until the end of your next turn. During that time, you and any friendly creatures within 30 feet of you have advantage on saving throws against being frightened or charmed. A creature must be able to hear you to gain its benefits. The performance ends early if you are incapacitated or silenced, or if you voluntarily end it. No action required. So I'm just doing it just in case they get afraid or anything like that. In the ability to use magical magic. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Let me see something here real quick for Maggie. What can I see? Yes. So you're variant human? Correct. Okay, cool. Make it sure. I don't like it. All right. I don't like um, it. Everett will move over and just kind of more or less defend. So he'll, you know, he'll come over, come up, kind of stand before in front of you guys, kind of. Giving you a little bit of cover while you cast and, and stuff. Um, he looks like he's ready to go in if he needs to, but he doesn't look like um, the smell of this thing is is kind of turning him. He's gagging. He's, uh, you know, that, that dog kind of yeah, <laughs> thing, you know. Um, so that'll make it charity's turn. All right. Um... I need to look and see... Yes, that's 120 feet. So, we're going to cast Guiding Bolt, 22 hit. Ooh, yeah. that'll hit. I'm casting that at second level. So that is 20 damage. Ouch. And then I'm All also right. casting Healing Word at third level for Aeson, which automatically does full Oof. healing to him, not whatever I rolled. Well, that um, sucks because yeah. that was a one. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. So full healing for him minute. should be. Um, so that's a one d four. So that's four there, and that's a yeah plus a one. D hang on, sorry, I need to remember what add to it. So in so it's a healing word at second level, so that would make it two d four. At third no. level, so plus that your... would make it three d four. Yeah, d4. plus. Two plus your wisdom mod. Yeah, plus two plus three, so plus five. So three D four plus five. So what's the total? Uh <laughs> calculator. 
<laughs> My brain doesn't want to math. Well, 2d4 is 8. 3 times 4 plus 5 oh, is 17. Kidding. I was saying that and I 17. forgot that I was off push talk. I was like, it's 17, it's 17, it's 17, it's 17. <laughs> <laughs> so, 17 that's HP. Exactly what you lost, so that's good. No, I lost, I lost more, but I had temporary, so I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm completely full. That's good. what I mean. Ooh, you know what the cool thing about guiding <laughs> bolt is, too? Cool. What? Oh, yeah, you get advantage. I get advantage. Or whoever hits it next. Yeah, I get advantage on my next <clears throat> attack against it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, do 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 Asan is going to smack at it with advantage because that's an awesome guiding bolt. 28. Damn, so close. A little hit. For 11 damage. And now I got a question okay. for you. Mm -hmm. If I attack its prone head, do I get advantage? I mean, you already kind of have. Well, no, because I. I I mean, you could, but it might only last for the first hit that you do with Guiding Bolt. I don't know what that would do to the spell because it even mentions anything about harmful. So if it stays there, it will continue to get hit. I'd say you could for the first hit, but that would take right, it out of the spell. I won't do that then. I'll just attack regular again. Okay. Ooh, a fourteen. That would be a nine. Fourteen will miss. Fourteen will miss, and I don't. Uh, I don't have a Bardic Inspiration. Nope. No, yeah, I didn't. Sorry. All right, you're good. Anything else uh, you'd like to do? No, I'm good. Run away. Okay. Whatever, it's not in there yet. <clears throat> so we are going to be making, and this this is the terrifying part of this thing. That's a twenty six oh, grapple check. That goes against my athletics, right? Come yes. On, all I need is a nineteen two. Actually, no, I only need an eighteen. Damn. It's a 23 oh, to a 26. So you close. will be grappled, good sir. I've been grappled before. Well, it's going to get worse. So that's one head. It's got well, six five, to do right Because if it grappled me, with one. Yeah. Yeah. So the first head is going to grapple you. The second one is going to swallow you. Oh, God. Uh, the creature uh, takes, uh, so, okay, so you'll basically, all right, so it needs to bite at you, but you're grappled, so that gives it advantage, correct? I don't know. I, I, I mean, doesn't it give disadvantage? So. Yeah. I think grappled is I'm advantage. I'm pretty sure it is, too. For attacking creatures. Um, yeah. let me see, grappled, 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 uh, a grappled creature's speed becomes zero and can't benefit from any bonus to its speed. The condition ends if the grappler is incapacitated. The condition also ends if the effect removes the grappled creature from the reach of the grappler or grappling effect. Uh, nothing about advantage. I mean, I this think it, the, I think it makes sense for it to, uh, like I'm not trying to like diss at you. I'm just, I'm, I'm, just on the, I'm just on the fight. That doesn't matter because it gives it advantage to this attack anyway. Because you're grappled. And the and the attack is called bite and swallow. Okay. Attack is a creature. So, because you're grappled, crash mind song, extend heads. Oh. No, no, don't touch me there. Oh, this okay. It's my no no square. Okay. <laughs> it's my no no square. Okay. Um, we'll just do a flat bite. So that's it's an eighteen hit. to hit. Oh All right. Second head. Uh, the third head. I gotta so check something really quick. So that's, that's I'm gonna check, three I'm more. Gonna check left. something really quick. Two more, my friend. Oh, uh, well, anything else? That's right. a five. So. Yeah, the first one. The first was one grappled. grappled. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I apologize. Second one was an 18. The third one was a 21. My bad. So I have three my more. Bad, Let's get to what happens while you're swallowed. Um, because this will be a thing starting in the next round. Uh, the false head revives the creature is grappling. The attack hits. The creature takes the damage. 
Small wound, well, small wound. Okay, so you are blinded and restrained. Um, at the start of your turn, I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Um, but you'll see basically him get swallowed. You'll see the giant knot <laughs> in the throat as he kind of gobbles Asan on down here. Uh, <laughs> yummy, yummy chicken dinner. Uh, Maggie, that makes it your turn. Oh, no, wait, it has three attacks. Is it going no, to attack me done. while I'm inside of it? Uh, no, it's going to go for Everett. Dog meat. Uh, so let's see here. Bite one. 25 will hit. 17, I think, will hit. And a one will miss. And a fumble charge. It's rolling that crit. Throw up my husband, damn it. My kidney, no, my only weakness. Uh, melee, you lunge past an enemy, exposing yourself to his attack. Um, Opportunity. What have I done? With, uh, not seeing if the first you hit, then we'll do damage from the monster, then we'll go to Everett's opportunity attack. So, um, I don't know why Everett, oh, there it is, hiding from me. 17 will hit. So both of those hit. Ouch. Okay. Um, 2d10 plus 10. That is 18 damage to Everett. Uh, I think he should still be up, most definitely. Yeah, he's still up. He's, he's hurting, that hurt. Uh, and then Everett gets an attack of opportunity. Did I get his bite in here? My character sheet's acting weird. Uh, 17 will hit the creature. Uh, let's deal. Nine damage. Uh, and that will end his turn. That makes it Everett's turn. I, I think that would probably lunge Everett into action. Because, <clears throat> like, up until now, he's been kind of protecting you guys. I thought Everett was next. Oh, no, I'm wrong. Maggie, your turn. That's okay. Um, so, you said it was a bigger creature, so I'm just making sure that I'm on the same page. So, it is considered a huge creature. It, it a takes a... Uh, yeah. So... It's got 15... No. 15 feet. You. Um... Uh... So how far? Okay. So that's the so that is like how big the token is. How big he is? I just want to make mm -hmm. sure. Yes, everything is to size. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure. Because what I'm trying to do, if you'll let me Pretty do cool. this, it's kind of actually kind of cool to think what I'm thinking about doing. If I, I'm gonna get up a little bit closer to it. Okay. I'm gonna use. <laughs> I'm gonna use. If you'll allow me, because I know it's Thunder Wave is a force from me. If I mm -hmm. can direct the Thunder Wave to push Asan up out of its throat. Because it's a sweeping force. Like, if I just went, like, if Maggie, like, moved her hand up, like, as if to sweep the thing up because it's sweeping forward. I can post it if you want me to, just to see. Um, let's, let's post it. I, I'm probably going to say no. Wave of Thunderous Force sweeps out from you. Each creature within a 15 feet cube originating from you must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, the creature takes 2d8 thunder damage. Yeah, it sounds like it's an inner kind of explosion, not not something that you can like pinpoint and make an explosion. Okay. Um. Kind of sounds like, like just like a magic pulse, like an, a magic EMP. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Now that Asan's in there, I'm actually going to do this now. And I'm going to cast it right on top of it. I'm going to make it throw itself and make him throw him up. Throw him up. <laughs> uh, I'm nauseous to the point where the range cloud the center of the heavy obscure lingering in the air to the range of the creature. Completely within the cloud starts 
Its turn makes a constitution saving Putting throw. Putting it right on top of its poison. party little Oh. Oh, sweetie. You said it's poison? Okay. Well, all right. So we'll see. Well, no, we'll no, see. I'm reading it. We'll see. Yeah. Constitution saving throw against poison. On a failed save, the creature spends its action. Okay. Anything else you would like to do? Um, I'm going to try... Because that's an action. I'm going to use hmm. my Mantle of Inspiration again. Or a Mantle of Majesty as a bonus action. I'm going to try to command the one that has Ace on. And I'm going to like basically transfer the command to that head. Word command you can see within range, target makes waste some sleep and throw the next effect. Okay. I mean, you can try, but <clears throat> say fifteen. One above my spell save DC. So that's all I can do. Okay. Uh okay, so that makes it Is it immune to poison? Is, is yeah. that what was what you why you were asking me about that? I can't give that away. Okay, I was just wondering if it because I didn't know if you it, did a con save or not. I was just curious, sorry. Um, I, I rolled it, um, in case it did fail, but, like, it is, it is okay. immune to poison. I would know it, that, but my, obviously Maggie wouldn't know that, so I get that. Television. Oh, this thing goes deep speech, holy shit. Okay, uh, that's as far as ever can get. Well, no, I think Ever will do the dash action. If I can get his thing. So that'll get him up. That'll end his turn. Charity, it is yours. All right. Um. Can move up here and everybody else with everybody else. Forward. We're gonna do another guiding bolt. And the lead. Ah. Guiding bolt will miss. Yeah. Is there anything else? No, uh, that's it. Okay. Alright, so what happens now? Can I get a concept? Yeah, you can. That is a Oof. six. Whew, okay. Jesus. That is 30 damage to you in acid right. damage. Uh, so, okay. That will end uh, pretty much Wait, your turn. It? You're still... Because you're restricted, blinded, and basically grappled. You're in its throat. I thought maybe I could try to cut my way out from its throat. Restricted. Okay. So, uh, let's see. That makes it Monster's turn. It has seven heads this time. Uh, oh no! Wait, it's gonna make a. Oh, the stink cloud. Wait, wait, That's hold right. on. Can I at least uh, stink cloud? Can I at least use my second wind? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, yeah, so definitely. Give me seventeen hit points. That'll work. Yeah, definitely. Because that's just like taking a minute, taking a breather, just calming yourself and kind of reassessing yourself. I feel is like what a second wind right, feels right, like. So I'll be a, I'll be a decent amount of hit points still. 
Okay, so we've got seven attacks. Help me keep track of these guys. Because the first three are going towards Everett. One, two, three. Three are going towards Maggie. One, two, three. One is going towards Charity. And that's one. So, so three were going towards me, so one, two, three. Yeah, all of those yeah. hit. So the 16 will miss, the 18 will hit, and the 26 will hit Everett. That's 2d... 10, 10. It's 20 damage to Everett. Uh, how many you say hit you, Maggie? All of them. Okay. That is 31 damage. Uh, Charity, did that hit you with the 27? Yeah, that hit. And that is 11 damage to you. That will end its turn, Maggie. Um, okay. You're doing good. I know it doesn't seem like it, but you guys are doing good. You've wrecked this thing a good bit. Well, because you said that it pulses from me, Maggie's going to run and slide underneath it. Okay. And um, she's going to cast Thunderwave to try to push Aeson out of it. Oh, okay. Let's do a Thunderwave. Is there any uh, rolls I have to do for it? I cast it at a con save DC 14. Oh no, okay. Twenty-two. So it'd take half save. and it wouldn't get pushed. But what about me? Do I have to make a save or get pushed? I think you would be inside okay. safe enough. That would take, what, 10 damage? 20? No, right. Yeah. So it's 19 altogether, so it would take 10. It would take 14. All right. <clears throat> no. It, were, it was 10. Half damage. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, anything else? Bonus actions? I mean, I can try the command again, but that's all Good. else I can do. That's a natural 20. Okay. It, li it literally just rolled a natural 20 on that one. Holy That's shit. So that's all I can do okay. right now. All right. Uh, let's see, what can I do? Wait a minute, I have a question. Is the head that's Everett. swallowing me, it doesn't, does, yes. it, that just, does that still get to attack people? It seems like it'd be pretty busy swallowing. Yeah. Me. You're, no, like, dude, you're down. Like a snake, like, <laughs> down. Like, you definitely, you're a lump in its throat. So, like, if they cut the head, you know. Um, let me see. Uh, Everett. Because it doesn't say anything about while eating or consuming that it would stop the head. Hmm. Ooh, okay. Um, ever. 16 will hit. What was this damage? 2d6. Plus two. Yeah, alright. That was right. Doom. So that is 
five more damage. That's going to suck. That'll end his turn. He doesn't really have a lot to do in werewolf form. Charity. All right. Um, Charity is going to come here and cast Cure Wounds on Maggie at, let's third. Uh, how many hit points was that again? It was like 18 or something. Okay, I don't remember. But it was... It was 31. Okay. Um, uh, grab calculator to remember. Anyway, I'm um, costing it at third level. So we are going to ignore that and work out what the, uh... So it gives you... How many D8s? Three. Three, eight times plus two, so plus five. So four times three is 29 12. damage. Yep. 29? Hit points back. 29. Um, Who two? To Maggie. And then <laughs> Healing Word, also at third level. Da 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 da. -da. Oh, we worked out that one. Did you give back to me? I'm so sorry. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Okay. Cool. Twenty nine HP. Thank you. Who's Jesus the, the healing word to? Um. To uh, shit. What's Everett? Okay. Um. Yeah. So yeah. he would get <clears throat> seventeen back. Ooh. Okay. Perfect. All right. But that is the end of her. All right, Aeson. I mean, there's nothing I can do. Oh, wait, 16 got, more damage to, to you, sir. Save. Uh, I don't think so. It just says, well, let me just pull it up. Swallow the stars and use the food. Oh, yeah, so you make one more. Go ahead and make me a strength, a uh, con save. 17. You are thrown up, good sir. Fuck yeah. Alright. Regurgitation. Do I take the damage then, or do I get up now? Oh, no. Wait. No. No, you just take half oh, damage I, from the acid. It does like not regurgitate, regurgitate you. What do I do? Uh, that is not something you can do at this I can't, like, point. I make a strength save. I can't, like... Flex my muscles. Can't try to claw You're your way out. On them. Can't like, I can't like, you know, flex and make my muscles bulge so much it cracks a hole in it. Because I'm pretty strong, man. Like, I'm pretty yoked. I. <laughs> there is nothing that says you get any kind of save once swallowed. You're pretty much being digested. Well, good All thing right. I'm under it. Um, so, so you will take damage. <laughs> I'm, st I'm still not even bloody so. yet, guys. Take your time. So it's six, half of 16. Whatever no, 49. That is. Okay. The creature's turn. I could be a dick. I don't think it would. No, because that wouldn't work for it. It wouldn't work. It might. Okay. Um, so it is the end of Rodeo's turn before it turns start. Its turn starts. It will use a legendary action. Sleeping song. The false Hydra targets uh, one creature within thirty feet uh, uh, with a soothing song. You must make a wisdom saving throw. I think that person is going to be Charity. Oh, right. Come on, Charity. And I get advantage because... Yeah, uh, counter term. My thing at the beginning. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so wisdom save, right? Oh, wait, no, that's fear. Never mind. Yes. Fuck 23. 
Uh, you so. will ignore the sleeping spell that one of its heads will attempt to sing. Um, trying to kind of get you to go to sleep. So that's not going to work. I guess I guess it's just going to have to make its attack. All right. <clears throat> I want it to try to make me sleepy. <laughs> Plus eight. This thing hits like a Mack yeah, truck. It kind of is a Mack truck. Okay, so that's a natural tw- uh-huh. two natural twenties <laughs> no, to you, Everett. Sir, can you calm down? Can, sir, can you calm down? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Two to Charity, I'm and then two today. to Maggie. So the last two is Maggie's. Oh, well, it'll... <laughs> I mean, it'll... Oh, just kind of, like, slither underneath itself? <laughs> yeah, think of this like as, as, like, a bulb, right? And then it's got, like, seven heads okay. kind of tendering around. To give you a sense of, of how much reach this thing has, uh, the reactive heads for each uh, no, 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 the extendable heads. Each head of the false hydra can extend out from its body up to 1,200 feet. Holy crap. Its head can move 50 Fucking feet Christ. per round. Okay, so what was the last, which ones were towards me? Uh, uh the heads. last two. Uh, the first three were Everett, and then two were Charity, so 21 and 18, Fucking and then a 15 heads. and a 23. And a 25 for... Yeah, both hit me, too. <sighs> okay. So Everett takes four lots of damage. And two of oh, them God. were crits. Yeah, Everett... Uh, this might end Everett, actually. <gasps> no! Uh, it's two plus ten, so that's Charity's damage. Okay. Ouch. And there's Maggie's damage. I'm good. I'm not okay, but I'm good. If that makes um, any sense. At least Everett, at least it doesn't double the, the ten from Everett's. Yeah. So let's do God, Four, let's do Everett's damage. Ten, that's not... Thirty-four damage. Not as bad as it could have been. It's definitely not gonna kill him. I could definitely say that. His his max HP is far outweighing that. He's still up. Good. Is uh is Edmund gonna help? I think Edmund's gonna have to. Uh, he's at four HP. Holy shit! Okay, so Maggie's gonna start the round. Uh, so that'll end the creature's turn. Uh, let me roll initiative for Edmund because he's gonna have to pop in. I think he's gonna see this is like a a do or die situation. That's an eight. Uh, he'll go before me, though, because his initiative is higher. Oop. I mean, his dex. Yeah. Boop. To Maggie, it is your turn. I'm going to stab this fucker in the gut and try to gut him. Do it. Um, when I get advantage because I'm underneath and this is his underbelly. Normally, I'd, I, I I'll give it to you, I guess. Creativity. Also, I think this might be the first time Maggie stabbed anything in the whole podcast. <laughs> 24 will hit. Deal damage. Oh, no. Saying. And I'm just gonna... She's Maggie's just gonna be underneath this thing on her back, and she's gonna, like, put her viola to the side. And then she's just gonna, like... With all of her bite, <laughs> stab into this thing's gut and just fucking rip across. <laughs> Trying to release Aeson. Okay, let me let me let me give you a heads up of what might happen okay. if you do that. This is a huge creature. Mm-hmm. We're talking a thousand pound. Mm-hmm. You are underneath of it. Mm-hmm. And you were looking at dealing the final bro- blow. Mm-hmm. It will crash down on you at a thousand pounds. Maggie's willing to risk that. Okay. <sighs> All right. Holy shit, <clears throat> I did the final blow. Fuck yeah, bro. Sorry, I'm excited. 
Tell me how you want to kill this thing. She's, you know, you guys are going to hear her scream as she stabs into it, and she just, like, rips from, like, the chest, oh, kind of, like, the upper chest, kind of, like, where the torso is, and just goes all the way down and just gets covered in blood and gore and everything and screaming let go of Aeson, basically. And, yeah. He, oh shit, no, I am so wrong. Two to sixteen tons of weight Owie. for a huge creature. Well, good thing I have Death Ward, right? <laughs> yeah. But my bones are gonna be broken. <laughs> so, what does Death Ward exactly do? So, let me post it again. There you go. So, you touch a creature and grant it a measure of protection from death. The first time the target would drop to zero hit points as a result of taking damage, the target instead drops to one hit point and the spell ends. If the spell is still in effect when the target is subject to an effect that would kill it instantaneously without dealing damage, the effect is instead negated against the target and the spell ends. Well, let's see how much damage you would have gotten. That would you would have gotten 60. Because her max hit points is 646. And what are you at right now? 24. And your 46 is your maximum? Yeah. I'm trying to... You'd probably still be alive. Yeah, you'd still be alive. You'd be at neg 2 away from death? Yeah. So it's not outright kill. That makes it more sense. That, like, that makes me feel a little bit less about that. So yeah, this thing will crash now. Dead. Um, Maggie, you're under this thing, but if you, it, it's up to you if you want to work with the dead, uh, the broken bones and such. That's up to you. I like that idea. I feel that's flavor. You are welcome to add. It feels like it gives you what you would like as a DM, and then. It gives me more flavor stuff to work with, so I, I don't mind it. But I really would like the idea of, like, this okay. synthetic scene where, like, Maggie does this, and then, like, the thing crashes and everything's quiet, and, like, the dust settles, you know what I mean? Kind of that kind of situation. The Hercules yeah. moment with Except the Except she's not going to come yes. out bursting, because she's going to have broken everything. We all assume that she's dead and desperately try to lift the false Hydra off her, and... <gasps> I'd say, Rodeo, you're going to feel the neck loosen. Um, you're going to feel the restraint kind of go away, and you're going to be able to kind of slug right. around. I'll push my way mouth. out, and I'll see Maggie partially underneath this thing. No, I'm not partially. I'm, I'm full trying, on it. Desperately you, trying to lift I'm fully it underneath this bad boy. How much would you say this thing weighs? About five oh, tons. I can't move that. I could move... Well, my dad's there, too, remember. And he's yeah, your dad's there... That. Well, I I think they could get the the mound off you enough. Like maybe your head's because like your head's sticking out. They can just my grab push, you and my pull. My push pull lift. My push pull lift. It'll hurt. Is Thirty times my strength, which means six hundred pounds for a son. Uh, you see, because this this creature is huge, well, so you it's guys anywhere between need two to sixteen tons. So you it's... just need to lift it up enough just to get me out. Yeah. Yeah. So if if you're looking at just lifting the whole thing, no, completely, thinking, that like, probably pushing it off happen. of her. Definitely, he'll yeah, need help. Definitely. Aeson will need help. He can he can push six hundred pounds. I, I I picture my dad's think... a pretty burly dude, and he can do it too. And Everett. Well, that werewolf strength. And Charity would probably let them lift it and wait to yank her out from underneath the thing once they have it up enough. So yeah, you guys get her out pretty pretty safely. Plus, you don't have to move all of the five tons. It's like blubber. This thing is disgusting. And once it dies, you'll see kind of like... You ever like take the lid off of like one of those old peanut things and it's got the snakes on it? Yeah. The, the moment this thing dies, all the recoiled necks just kind of spring. <laughs> and you see the length of how long this 1,200 foot neck is for each of these heads. 
Maggie's in so much pain, she's just in shock. Charity's probably leaning over the top of you and is going to immediately start casting Cure Wounds. Which would still be a... 8 and 8 okay. is 16, plus 5 is 21. After the calm is gone, after the monster is defeated, and the dead is totaled, after everything's gone down and we finally get a moment to sit and, and kind of actually just react and be there, it's where I'd like to end it. 